Welcome back. In this video, we're going to have a look at the microbial genetic algorithm. This is a very simplified uh, genetic algorithm and the basic operation of this algorithm uh, is as follows. Um, we mentioned before that we create our uh, initial population of uh, uh, candidate solutions or chromosomes. Uh, as, we, as we mentioned in the first video, we call them also genotypes and in there actually explain the difference between genotype and uh, phenotype if you remember so we g randomly create our initial population by generating these random solutions and then we spoke uh, in the last video about selection in microbial genetic algorithm we're going to randomly pick two candidate solutions so we won't use uh, the idea of selecting for example uh, chromosomes uh, according to the fitness or in you know in a way proportional uh, to uh, in a pro basically having probability proportional to their fitness no what we'll do is we'll just pick pick up two uh, solutions randomly from the population right so that's the selection after that we compare the fitness of these two chromosomes and we'll come up with a winner and a loser so the winner will be the chromosome with the higher value, the higher score or the better fitness and the other one will be the loser. By the way, notice that I use the word chromosome, solution, genotype interchangeably and they also, they actually you know the uh, they have the same meaning in our context. Right, now what happens is we, cho we have the loser chromosome now, or the loser genotype and we perform um, crossover and mutation. So, with some probability, and prob this is where the randomness comes in, yeah, so we, we lose a bit, a bit of probability, we can perform crossover on the loser. So, we'll copy from the winner to the loser, right? We will copy from the winner to the loser. When we explained crossover before, we said the two, the two chromosomes, they exchange things, but now, no, we will only copy from the winner to the loser, and again, with some probability or some randomness, we perform mutation on the loser so now you notice only the loser will be changed right so only the loser will be changed um, the fact that we keep the winner the winner a chromosome unchanged that gives us a degree or a version of elitism if you remember from before we said we need to keep the good candidate solutions in the population so there we have it here we don't change the winner we only change the loser right so only the loser gets changed which gives us a version of elitism for free this will ensure that the best in the breed so the best in the population will remain in the population right so we'll replace it back place it back in our uh, population for the next iteration to have a look graphically at the idea here is uh, as follows we have our population we randomly pick two chromosomes right or two genotypes or two candidate solutions then using their fitness we come up with a winner and a loser so the the best of them is the winner the worst of them is the loser and then we perform recombination or crossover on the loser only so we only copy from the winner to the loser we can uh, perform one point uh, or two point um, crossover after that we perform random mutation as we explained in the last video and again just to repeat that only the loser will be changed and after that we replace the loser uh, in the population with the newly created loser so because now this version of the loser is different from the original one right because we performed crossover and mutation now we replace them back in the population and we continue we are going to use this simplified uh, genetic algorithms in uh, uh, the next few videos so what we'll do is we'll have an introduction to a simple problem and then we'll try to solve it using microbial genetic algorithms we'll have java code so hopefully this will give us at least the confidence to um, learn more about genetic algorithms and then maybe if we want to learn further even code the actual operators ourselves always remember the most important thing here is how to represent the solution, how to evaluate the fitness of candidate solutions, and um, which, um, for example, selection, 
uh, crossover and mutation algorithm to use more in the next videos thanks very much for watching and i'll see you next time